Hey, this is David Richard Scale Studios. I have to repair the Prusa Mark III now. I've been using it to print some ABS and getting away with it. I've been turning up the heat bed a little bit to compensate for the uh, uh, temperature drops, but now it's getting too sporadic. Uh, the other day I was doing a small part and it dropped from 105 to 80 in no time and I was playing with the wires and it wouldn't compensate. Uh, right now I have it on and you can see it's off but with this like a little manipulation with the bed, well, right now it's not working at all. So this is another. No, so now this is another time. But just a while ago it was uh, bright red. Oh, see, there we go, just tapping that wire. So there's something loose in there. I hope it's the thermistor. I bought two new thermistors uh, to have one back up from uh, Prusa. Uh, it comes uh, complete with the uh, connection to the the Rambo board or whatever the kind of board this is and the thermistor itself and then some uh, capped on tape some kind of reflective metal tape so when we take this apart and get the bed off we'll see how we use that and I have extra tape if I need it and what else oh wire management in the back that cloth uh, adhesive thing I want to get rid of I have um, some of this old stuff this was for my printer bot I bought and I haven't really liked it that much but then I have like the other wire management they use on the Prusa from even the printhead and from the uh, motherboard to um, looks like the x-axis wires I have spi I have different diameters of spiral cable uh, covers so we'll do that so I'm gonna move this over to my uh, workbench it's more for like modeling but I'm gonna use that as my uh, 3d printer repair and mod bench also I got it cleaned up to a point where we can manipulate this printer without um, messing around because I have a printer next to it on this. This is like a printing table dedicated to that. If you've seen in my other studio updates and we'll go from there. Thank you for joining me. Okay, uh, we got over to the uh, work table. You see it's like a cutting mat. Uh, it's all clean. You got a lot of room to work with. Uh, first thing first, uh, always unplug the printer. It's out. I'm going to move this to the side because we're going to eventually flip it to the left side of the printer to get into the um, control box. And then now we have to take the bed off. So we'll just take the uh, flexible metal sheet, set it safely aside somewhere. And then we have um, nine Allen bolts. Let's see which one we have. Let me just get this back on camera. Still working with this camera system, kind of uh, to start loosening these up, not take them all the way out right away. And there's spacers underneath, so it's going to be a uh, putting this thing back together. There's a trick to it. Uh, I found, I think, on the Prusa website when you're building these things. It's not that it looks more complicated than it really is. Oh, and another thing, oh, here you see these, these are uh, salsa cups from my favorite uh, taqueria, uh, Tepa 2 uh, from Tepa, Mexico. Um, I save these basically for my hobby and painting stuff, but these are great when you're in the middle of a mod or repair or building something, to divide your parts up in sections. So when I take this bed off, all the M3s and the spacers will go into a uh, salsa cup and uh, lidded so they don't no, get lost. And when we put this back together, we just have steps of salsa cups to follow. So I'm going to come back and uh, take this apart and show you what it looks like. Okay, we're back. I got all of them out except for the middle one. And this is going to be the first one we put back in also. So we pull that one out, throw it in our salsa cup, I'll make sure it goes in there, lift the bed up, and then you might have spacers stuck to this but no you, we don't let me get this to the side um, hold that safely then you have these little um, spacers look like maybe five six millimeter spacers and they kind of just sit nicely there like I said there's a trick to put it together it does look uh, like it'd be a pain but it's not too bad uh, needle nose pliers or a um, pair of tweezers works perfectly so we have that apart now so we can take the bed 
flip it over and let's um, change cups now. So we have that and then we have the M3s holding the uh, uh, stream relief. So, okay, so now we see uh, the parts I showed in the beginning. Uh, let me grab those real quick. I threw them all in the bag again. So now we see what everything goes to now. And luckily I do have some extra tape to um, put that back down. So we have, oh, it's just kind of thermal reflective tape and that. So and I have the second set over here in my hand that way. So right now we know I have all the parts. And then we'll take this section apart now and we'll probably need a different tool. So we can, um, I might need to move this. Oh, we can get it apart, that's fine. Our salsa cup. <laughs> and this piece just comes off. So there, that is free. So I'm going to uh, come back and tilt this on its side, or see if I can do it now. Remember, they have these flunky rubber feet on these things that don't really hold well. So let's see if I can do that. I need to bring it around. Excuse the camera work. So we now have everything on its side. And then we got to take out one more thing over here. Let me, I'll be back. I'm going to readjust cameras and I will. Okay, I have the uh, printer upright again. I want to get the control box open. Get the correct tool in here, and I'm just going to use uh, probably the bed. It's this one um, screw to open this up, and let's get the uh, salsa cup. And in here, all let's see if I can get it out because I don't want to lose this. Inside these, are, I believe this is an ABS print. If I can shake that out, or let's see. Watch, I will lose it now. Now oh, maybe it's stuck in there. There's a square nut that's inside the uh, door right here where my finger is, and that's where it grabs onto. So now we got to, um, let's see what else we got to do here. I got my flat cutters. I'm going to cut this off. Oh, one thing I did notice that I, I misjudged or didn't even look at, which is silly, is this is not adhesive, so I might still be able to use this stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably keep this stuff, but we'll see. Because it would kind of look cool if it was all matching. And... Now we got to flip it back over again. So we got that out of the way. These tools over here. Try to oh, damaging wires. Let me see if I can get this out. Put it closer to me. And also, if I noticed uh, the bed here, this is the soldered version, I guess, because I bought this uh, pre-assembled. Uh, there's, if you look in the instructions, they have ones that you screw these things, the terminals in. I don't think there's any problem with this. We'll see. We'll put a new uh, thermistor in and go from there. So let's move this forward, get it on its side. And you can see uh, in the background, a foot fell off. That's because when you tilt this thing, it just grabs it and just you kind of just turn it in 
There, and then goes back in. No big deal. Okay, then we need to get inside the box. Okay, now I'm gonna move this. Hopefully it'll stay. No, it won't. Or we can do this. There we go. The box is open now. And let's get a camera over there. Excuse the uh, motion sickness, if there's any. We can see where the uh, thermistor goes in. Maybe we can put a light on it. A little light over here. Let's see. That help? That's not going to help. Get inside there. Oops. <laughs> I don't know if I can get this thing to sit right. Let's see. Go to bed. Thermistors on the board. There's like a little tab. I might just need to use some uh, tweezers on it. Let me get my hand in there again. There. That's out. So we got the thermistor. We got that. Let's move this back camera back out over here. My mobile cam, I guess. I had this rigged up on my uh, mic stand, but I need to move around more. So unwind it from the uh, bed heater wiring. And then we can flip this back over. And let's get this over there. I'm going to just try to replace everything the way we need to. It's got too much reflection up there, but you can see what I'm doing over here on the bottom left. So let's get this tape up. Easy enough. Get this other piece up. Garbage. This is not good. Huh. I kind of remember uh, we'll have this little U shape and have the uh, close to the middle as possible. So, right on the top edge of the hot zone. H. Oh, it's nice. It's got a little uh, dot to mark it. Beautiful. A little sticky, but not too bad. Get that out of the way. I'm going to use a little alcohol to clean this. I'll be off camera a second. My trusty little bed cleaning alcohol bottles with 91% uh, uh, isopropyl alcohol. This is going to be a pain. I'm just going to get as good as clean as possible. I don't think it has to be perfect. Probably maybe she's fabric. Quickly have a. So I'm getting all kinds of residue from the paper towel. Okay, good. So we'll get the new. Uh, thermistor out.
Oh, okay, this is a little bit different. I think they uh, use some kind of a less expensive. Let's see if I can put this on camera. The new one's got the big H with like looks like tape. The other one's like the plastic. So we know we won't mix those up and put the bad one back on. And I got tangle and wires. So that way we'll do that little spread. I don't know if that's necessary or not. It says like torque on the wires as little as possible. And this wire's got a twist to it. Try to get this all so it plays nice. We're there. Maybe flip it that way. Is this this wiring is being uncooperative? I was thinking about doing this edit it and narrate it, but I think it just real time is better for me. It's just makes easier editing, but maybe it might help people look, see what I'm going through. So I'm not an expert 3D printer at all. I'm just kind of learning as I go. Let's get this wire to sit nicely. Oh good, we have some of the old adhesive holding it down. Okay, so we got our reflective adhesive tape. And you'll see me struggle with this. Yeah, this is not gonna be this is not easy. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I got an edge. Nice. And it moved. Not good. Okay. Let's put you back back there. Okay. Let me get the wire from the magnet. I don't want to smash that down, but I want to get this kind of use this as like an embossing tool. Be careful around the actual thermistor head. Nice. Now we have the. See so how we're gonna put that on. Do it like that. Let's see. Yeah, that'd be better like that. Struggle, struggle, struggle. If I was a good uh, videographer, I would have had all this like pre-edged um, off. And it does not want to come off. I'm going to stop the video here. I'll be back in a second when I get this... Uh, Okay, I am back. I got my readers on so I can see what I'm doing. And a hobby knife uh, saved the day. Uh, where's the camera at? Yes. Yeah, there we go. So this is going to be simple. I'm going to try to get this. Let's see how this is going to work. I might have done this wrong, but let's see. Let's get this going like that to protect the wire as much as possible. I might have loused this up, but oh well. Okay. And let's use one of these tools again to kind of as a, like I said, embossing. Get all, as many bubbles out as possible. And this is a pain to deal with, but my hands are in the way of everything. Oh, now we can still see. So 
It's not pretty, but it'll work. Let's see if we use this a little more. side up a little bit better. Excuse me, allergies, my nose is itching. Okay, so it looks like we have that back together. Um, let's do the, uh, oh yeah, we might have to change that out too. I was going to use different wire um, management. So let's get this plugged back in the board. So let's see if I can get the camera to see in there. Let's see, maybe you can do that. Excuse uh, the camera work, but I'm trying to do this real time without any uh, editing tricks. And I'm trying to get a camera view in there. That's not going to work. Why would it go through there? Oh, shit. Let me get everything readjusted. I'll be back. Okay, we're ready to uh, plug it in. So, if you can see where I got the camera adjusted on the board on the bottom left. We're gonna go on this far terminal right here where I have the, uh, uh, what are these things? Kebab skewer <laughs> pointed out so you can see it. And then I have the, uh, this all tangled, not good. <laughs> Watch we get another short in it. And have the, uh, the lock pin on the top. Maybe this might fit in tighter too. That other one's junk. Well, that didn't fit right. Hmm. Let me see something here. What's the old one look like? They're identical. Huh. Let's see. Is not going in all the way. Oh, there it locked. Okay, we're good. Get all these wires going the right way. I'm gonna. Th I think I'm gonna change that out to the uh, plastic. So I'll be back. I'm gonna cut a length of it out. Uh, just kind of generalize it with uh, this piece, and we'll be back in a second. Okay, we are back. Uh, mo I moved the printer back up. As you can see, the uh, as I planned or foresaw, the little uh, square nut for the uh, control box fell out. So I put that in its salsa cup to keep that safe. Also, I want to give this more protection. So I have it nice and flat. I have a roll of Kapton tape right here. I'm just going to take some scissors to it. I'm trying to keep it as flat as possible. I can probably trim it back if I need to. Let's not lose the edge. Also, I judged the, uh, adjusted the camera above the workspace. Let me see if I can get a little more centered. There we go. So we can actually even overlap this after without trimming it. So a little more 
protection maybe or, or strain relief possibly let's hope we can get that to lay flat nicely Let's see, all everyone have their fingers crossed on this because that would stink if this does not uh, fix the problem. And then we need uh, this on top, I believe. So that lays like that. somehow nicely okay or goes the other way around no no it goes like that that is so weird this thing kind of doesn't lay right Okay, get the correct tool. Looks like it's connecting. Look at the main screw. Let's not lose the control box screw. Just do these overly tight. They need to have this. Oh, wait. Shoot. So let's get this on first. And I forgot I got to do the uh, wire wrap. We will get this done eventually. Nice and tight. There. Start with our wire wrap. I've used this stuff before um, upgrading the or modding the CR10, uh, adding ground wire, oh yeah, the ground wire to the heat bed for the Kinevo AC heater to kind of keep it all integrated with that harness and not uh, running it through, because you can't do that, it's already got the, uh, the, the pins on it, the, the four pins or whatever, yeah, four pins for the, two for the thermistor and two for the heater, you can't run it through that, um, that sheath that comes in because it's all connected like that, I might have to rewire all that. I think this will look okay. So far, so good. Let's get this screwed down in here first. And then I'm going to stop the camera. I'm just going to wrap it, and you don't have to watch me do that. that can't, it's not that exciting. I might use a, a wire tie to get this tightened a little bit. When I come back, after I wrap it, I'll show... That and I'll grab a couple anyways. So my hands in the way, sorry. It feels pretty tight, snug. There. Okay. Well, I'm going to finish. I'm going to wrap this up to the box and just get this all kind of going to the box correctly 
we'll go from there. So we'll be right back. Okay, we are ready to trim this and get it all tightened up. I'm gonna put some wire ties on it just to play it safe. I don't know how it's gonna help or not, but I use these on the CR-10 just to kind of reinforce the spiral. And I'm gonna grab it right here because this has got a good pinch on it. But just right there, I'm gonna pair a little uh, needle nose, get a little extra tightness. Kind of tighten it a little bit more. Trim it. Okay, then we have a bunch of extra. I want this to look clean. So let's pull all this out again. And probably unwind a little bit of this. Yeah, because it doesn't look funky. Because it's overlapping. Let me see if I can. I can always readjust it again too. It's better, better uh, having to cut some off later than uh, having to um, try to add it back on. So I have my little scissors over here. There we go. Uh, gotta grab another wire tie because this is gonna um, recall how this works. I'm just going to put it in this way. And then feed it through somehow. I wish they, uh, Prusa made this box a little bigger. It's just jammed with wires. And just, it's just asking for something to get loose. Okay, let's see. Fit in there nicely. And then where would it be better? I guess it's gotta go like that. Uh, I, the face cam, I'm not, not really talking to you, sorry, I'm so like in this, but. I'm just working with new uh, styles of filming to make it a little more higher quality. Hopefully when I do some uh, paint work, it's going to work really well, especially as if you see Game Board Part 1 for Star Wars Legion. I still have to do the painting on that and have this multi-camera thing be kind of cool. So that looks like it's tight. And uh, we'll trim that. And then I'm going to jam all the wires back in. shorting anything or loosening any connections that looks good okay so then we got to find a little square nut let me get back up here sorry if I missed that I thought I must have bumped it okay so we have this little square nut we got to open this up it fits in just like that that's simple let's grab our uh, really long like 40 millimeter m3 at least and it grabbed nice okay that made life a little easier so uh, I'm gonna back this camera on the side out a little bit so I can get the bed and adjust it oops Keep everything. Let me see if I can back it up a little bit here. Okay, so now we can uh, lay the bed down, and we're gonna uh, take a break and then. Let's see here. Oh, it feels a little twisted. That looks better. I wonder if I can do this on camera without knocking all the feet off. 
That was empty uh, salsa. <laughs> okay. Oh, so I was looking at the front of this and it looked like it was all bent with the, and I feel a, something came off. Yep. You cannot slide these things at all. It's so irritating. But these are nice and soft, so the, the vibration, and it's, I guess it's not the end of the world having to adjust it once in a while. Okay, so to put this back together, I'm going to grab our small uh, metric driver. Looks like maybe a two millimeter or something like that. Let me get this camera on the side a little bit. Good. So what we do start with is one spacer in the middle right there. And we get our screw ready. Let's see this. It's going to be a disaster of comedy. And it's in. Looks like we might have it. We might. Maybe not. Probably not. Something went out wrong. No? Okay. Feels like I have it. Nope. Okay, let's see this again. Okay, dead on. I wish you could see underneath this thing. Uh, let's see if we maybe we can lay this camera down real quick. See in the dark. Okay, see. Oh, that's not going to work. Well, maybe that'll work. Okay. Yeah, you can see the spacer. Hey, it's not too bad. Okay, we'll get the screw in. Try to line that up. Nailed it. Okay. So to go from there, let's get this camera back up into position again. Excuse the... Uh, <laughs> I don't like doing a lot of edits and crap like that. Let's see here. There. Okay, good. Maybe we can slide this over. You can see the whole board now. Okay, we didn't want to tighten it all the way because what we're going to do is line this all up. Okay, we'll start over on this edge on my right side here. Let's see if we can. There. Okay, so I need a pair of tweezers. And we know it's right here and once you get a few of these in it, it kind of just does its own thing And like, I'm not going to tighten these all the way. I just want to get them started. See, we got one started. And then we'll go over to this side. Kind of like a diagonal. Get my pliers. 
Can you get us closer to me? Excuse my head, but there we go, got it nice and lined up. Slowly move that out of the way. We'll drop in the M3. And it caught. Nice. Let's do this far corner over here since it's so far away. pliers or the oops that wasn't fun okay I probably could do it with my fingers Very hard to do on camera, but we'll get it. And you see on uh, camera my giant left arm. I was on kidney dialysis for 28 years and had a can the transplant uh, two years ago. They still haven't taken it. It's called a fistula out. That's where they used to do the dialysis three days a week. So uh, it is kind of uh, strange looking. So if there's any questions or uh, anyone throwing up or shocked. <laughs> okay, did that come in? Nope. I'm going to do this on camera. So you can fast forward it or you can sit and enjoy the struggle with me. The worst thing is it's on my left hand side and I'm right handed. <laughs> okay, I think I need different uh, tweezers. I think last time I did this, I had some plastic tweezers that weren't so slippery. Okay, I think we're good there. And I should have moved the hot end out of the way. That screw fell, but I see where it is. I'm not going to grab for it since already in a good position as it is or was. Where did it go? There. Okay, let's cross our fingers. Nice. Okay, so let's do this other corner. Let me grab that one screw that fell. Oh, I got the back one too. I'm gonna do those off camera. That won't be too hard to get to. Let's see, maybe I can just do it right now. Let's see, how are we gonna wanna get over there? Let's get this to this side. Yeah, let's get the hard ones out of the way. Well, plus, being on camera, I can't just jump around this table. I have a microphone attached to me. Looks like we got it.
Okay. I'm going to finish the last three. You get the idea. I'm not going to bore the crap out of everyone. So we see we got, uh, yeah, we got a solid beginning. So like I said, just, you know, take your time with a pair of tweezers. I have a little pair of plastic tweezers that grab better than these, but they work. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, we are back. So um, let's put the uh, bed back on or the uh, flexible metal sheet. Let's turn this thing on. So far, so good. Okay, you can see uh, everything in the bottom left. Let's see if I can make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and you can see the light up on the top camera, and you can see me, obviously. So uh, let's get a, let's go to settings, temperature, bed, see so we can get up to 100. Well, that's not good. Well, uh, this is an anticlimactic ending to this little tutorial. Um, I hooked up everything right. It turns out that uh, the bed wires are bad or the bed is bad. I don't think the bed is bad. I ran, um, this is like a couple hours later after you saw the frantic ending of the last section of uh, just trying to get everything together. Obviously, we saw that the hot end was still working, so the fuses are okay. I was able to take a, I have a um, solder re, re solder rework station it only puts out 15 volts but I was able to hook it up to the bed itself at these uh, solder joints which are kind of iffy and it was getting the light on so but it wasn't enough to heat it and it was getting a weird feedback to the uh, power supply and it was alarming it so I got into contact with Prusa online awesome customer service uh, I went over this with a multimeter I just put it away and it determined that there's bad bed wires and there's new connections now so they're sending me a new bed. So hopefully this uh, tutorial is still useful to replace the thermistor, which my old thermistor is still good. I was able to uh, do body temperature tests and uh, can you see this? And I have a, a metal um, a hobby vice over here. So I was heating up with my hands. It was registering. It would go up from 28 to 36 degrees. And then I'd throw it onto the uh, 
touch it to the device and it just drop immediately. So it was registering that. And for some reason, power was not going, telling the bed to go on. So something's wrong with the wiring here. So I have this all disconnected. Um, the gentleman uh, had me, um, like I said, use a multimeter and there was some resistance on these soldering joints. And he said they have upgraded those recently, so they're sending that all to me. So, um, like I said, I hope you got something out of this because replacing the thermistor was pretty easy, just a little time consuming. Uh, putting the bed back on is probably the hardest part. And that is it. And, you know, get a little fiddly getting into that control box is kind of crazy. So on this video here, I'm going to do another upgrade video waiting for uh, the part from Prusa. So I have extra thermistors if, ever that was go if those ever go bad. So I think I'm going to get the Anycubic together. I'm just doing some fan upgrades, so there's nothing tragic about that. And then we'll see you in that video. Uh, thank you for joining me.